Hi guys, Queen of Flannel here. Welcome back to the channel. So I am trying a different format today. Uh, I will get into that in just a second, but first let's let me talk about uh, the project that I am working on today. So this is Matchstick Mouse Pumpkin Party Coloring Book by Morgan O'Brien. Uh, I'm sure a lot of you are familiar with this series. I think right now there are 10 uh, Matchstick Mouse books out there of uh, various holidays, various seasons. They're adorable. And I needed something this week that was just um, a cutesy, easy, quick project that I could work on. And share with you guys so we did a big video uh, what was it like a week or so ago that was three parts and that was a you know a pretty extensive project and so yeah I just wanted something cute and quick for this week and I have been struggling with my executive processing my multitasking it's a side effect slash symptom of my thyroid disorder. And so basically, I have difficulty multitasking. So coloring and trying to talk while I color is really difficult. And when I go back and I watch my videos, I feel like they are very disjointed i'm honestly sitting here listening to myself do this voiceover and i feel disjointed like this isn't this isn't scripted this is just me talking off the you know off the cuff to you guys while watching myself color <laughs> so i've never done a voiceover in the past also partly for similar reasons if I just sit there in color, I feel like I'm not going to be able to remember what I did after the fact to be able to explain it. But we're going to try it. We're going to roll with it. I am not going to talk the entire almost 40 minutes of this video. At some point, I will transition over, give you guys some nice relaxing music to listen to to finish up the, uh, the video. But Again, um, yeah, I'm I'm having some uh, some issues lately, so you know we'll give it we'll give it a try. And uh, this video was a B to to edit. I don't know what happened to the uh, the footage between recording them and uh, sitting down to edit. But apparently the first chunk, part of it ended up corrupted. And so it kept messing up my editing program and erroring it out. And then I'm sitting here thinking, oh my goodness, is the entire video like this? Am I just going to have to scrub this whole project? Because if so, I'm going to be super sad. And thankfully I was able to narrow it down. It took some some digging and figure out that it was just a uh a, like a five minute piece in the uh the middle of the first like 30 minutes that I recorded. And so I was able to cut that out and most of it was just me going back and forth on this pumpkin. So you guys will get to see plenty of that the first half of this video. And if you notice any funky cuts later my battery died and I so obviously I had to, to stop and while I was waiting for my battery to charge I figured I would work on some of the leaves on the left and then just do the rest of them on camera for you but I am working with Prismacolors today interestingly enough I have been favoring the Prismacolors lately, and these are not my, my go-to pencil, um, but I, uh, I pull them out occasionally. They really do work well on this paper. If you have any of these books, 
it's uh, similar to the paper in like the Creative Haven that Amazon create space paper, but it also has this like funky uh, texture printed into it. It's pretty pretty toothy, and it did like these pencils. So noted if uh, if you have any of these and you're looking for a good uh, media to use in them. If these books do not like water media, I will tell you that right now. And one of my other ones I attempted, I uh, can't remember if it was water-based markers or what, what it was, but water was involved and the paper did not, did not care for it at all. So I did not have time to do uh, pencil, like pencil cards. And after dealing with the uh, issues with trying to edit this, I am not going to, I'm not going to create uh, pencil cards for this video and sitting here doing this voiceover, I don't remember exactly which pencil is which, but I still have them on my desk. So I will put them in the description below. I tried to keep the palette really simple, really bright, um, vibrant. I didn't want to go, you know, super like dark and moody with this one and I think I did this uh this pumpkin in three or four pencils it, it took me I uh I didn't go excuse, excuse me hiccups um didn't go as deep with the shadows as originally planned uh, by that point I hit the layers the paper would take and so I kind of just stopped at that point but I liked it I thought it turned out really cute in the uh, in the end and I hope to do more in this book I don't know if uh, we'll get another image done in it this month but I did order a couple of the Christmas books so we should be able to work in those in December and I'm just trying to you know kind of watch myself and see if there's anything in particular that I can uh, elaborate on but that's really you know the long the long and short of it I just wanted something cute this week and I almost thought that uh, this wasn't wasn't going to be a video but I think at this point I am going to transition over to some music and I'll let you guys watch the rest of the video without listening to me blur blur blur. So thank you guys so much for watching. I appreciate it. I'm going to give you guys some music and I will chat with you all later. <laughs> 